Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, hey there, it's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, welcome back guys. Welcome to your July monthly readings. Hey, July, all right, we're in the middle of the summer guys, it's great. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. Happy birthday to all the Cancers out there. Um, I, this is, today is what? Today is the 8th of July. So we are still in Cancer season. So I hope you guys are all enjoying your birthdays, uh, your birthday season. And to all the Leos out there, your birthdays are coming up. So I'll say happy birthday to you guys now, but we'll get to that next month, yeah? Um, so I did something a little bit differently this time. I wanted to get into the energies first before I started reading for them. I'm not so keen personally on forecasting, on fortune telling. I tell people all the time I am not a fortune teller, okay? I'm more about um, understanding the current energies and bringing clarity to them to help you you know, make the best decision for yourself moving forward. So that's why I waited a little bit before um, I release I put out the, the July monthlies. Also, if you're seeing some smoke, don't worry about it. <laughs> My apartment's not on fire. <laughs> I'm just burning some sage, yeah? Um, let's see, anything else? These are general readings, okay? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, if you would like a personal reading, I am very much available for that. You can go ahead and email me. All of the information is in the description box below. Um, num, 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 num. I think that's it. So what I'm doing with this, the readings this month, I am using the Golden Universal Tarot for the, you know, the general message. And then I'm also getting Oracle Guidance from the Unicorns and the Crystal Mandala deck. And uh, when it comes to the Crystal Mandala deck, I am um, focusing it on, yes, bringing the message forward, but also putting forth the intention that the, whatever crystal comes out, if you feel uh, guided to purchase that crystal so that you can work with it, I highly recommend that you do so. Yes, 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 that's always a fun thing to do. And yeah, I believe that is it for now. So let's get into the reading, yeah? Yay! Hey Sagittarius, Sagittarius, how y'all doing? <laughs> Welcome to your reading for July, yeah? Let's get into it. Sagittarius, I love that, oh my God. Okay. <laughs> hey, Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Sagittarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Sagittarius for the month of July to serve the highest good of all involved. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, check it, Sag. Y'all are fired up about something. I don't know, whoever I'm connecting with right now, I'm seeing a mixture. It's like, it literally looks like fire. I'm seeing a mixture of red, yellow, and orange. So you could very well be working on your lower chakras, bringing them into balance. They could be chaotically throwing energy all over the place. I'm not sure. Um, Cause it does, this mixture of colors does look quite chaotic. Um, but that could just be a balancing act also, Sagittarius. But you're fired up about something. Someone's fired up about something. Sagittarius. One more shuffle, okay. Yes, here we go. All right. Overall energy, Sag, you got three of cups. Third party situations, maybe. Social settings, definitely. Some parties, okay. It is summer. I do feel like, for the most part, there is quite a bit like a vacation. You know, vacation with friends. Um, enjoying the pleasures of life in this summertime sun. Okay, three of cups. Ooh, five of wands in reverse, laying down conflict. I feel like laying down conflict for the sake of enjoyment. Uh-oh, but then we've got the queen of cups in reverse. We also have 
the Seven of Cups in reverse. Uh oh. Uh oh. Third party relationships, guys. Third party situations that have not served. Now, Queen of Cups could very well be you, Sagittarius. Or it could be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But whoever is symbolized by this Queen of Cups... Um, she's stepped out of a situation. I'm picking up that she was in conflict for some time with the Five of Wands. There, were a, there was inner conflict, but then there was a lot of opposing views around her. And uh, ultimately, though, I feel like whatever is symbolized by this Three of Cups here, that went out. And Queen of Cups said, uh-uh. No, thank you. And left. And now whoever is left, whoever was left by the Queen of Cups is seeing the error of their ways with the Seven of Cups in reverse. Seeing how they played way too much. They put too much stock in the illusions around them, the choices they thought they had, the time they thought they had to, to, to mess around. And now they're left with this Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is the only thing that's upright here. And I feel like someone is very dissatisfied with that. This could be why your root chakras, your lower, not your root chakras, but your lower, your three lower chakras, the root, the sacral, and the solar plexus, could be in chaos right now. Because you were acting from that place, whoever I'm communicating with here, whoever the Queen of Cups left behind, you are acting from, you were acting from that place in this Three of Cups party energy. Yeah. Getting into the storyline here, we have, ooh, look, we have the Ten of Cups, though. Ultimate fulfillment with emotional fulfillment. The Two of Pentacles in reverse. So, all right, cool. What has gone on recently has helped someone stop, finally stop juggling in favor of emotional fulfillment, ultimate emotional fulfillment, okay? Well, that's good. Next, ooh, the devil in reverse. Very good, releasing codependent issues, uh, situations. Now, the, the situation with this Queen of Cups could have been very codependent. The Queen of Cups can be emotionally manipulative while also being just having your emotions all over the place, flying all over the place. The devil is coupled with the king of swords in reverse. Ugh. What's that? I'm picking up an energy of a masculine gender or an energy, it doesn't matter, who was mentally abusive, who made someone feel like they couldn't survive on their own, they couldn't live without them, helped to maintain the codependency of this relationship. Yeah. But I'm also picking up, a, up an energy of this has been released. Or it's in the process of being released. And I really feel like whoever is symbolized by the devil and the king of swords here, they were keeping someone in this limbo. Because someone wanted to choose, go in a direction that was going to take them towards their ultimate emotional fulfillment with the Ten of Cups. But this devil energy and the king of swords in reverse, both in reverse, was like fighting against that. So maybe this three of cups is a celebration in breaking free. 
All right, cool. Moving forward. Ah, the sun. Yes, Sagittarius. Yes. With the Four of Swords in reverse. No need to rest anymore. No need to contemplate anymore. The sun has illuminated everything you needed to see. So, great. Move forward towards your ultimate fulfillment with the Ten of Cups. Because you're not juggling anymore. Excellent. Moving forward, we've got the Six of Wands in reverse. Okay. Now, normal, sometimes when the Six of Wands comes out and it's reversed, it can mean um, putting up a facade. Like, making it seem like everything is okay when it's not. But here, what I'm getting is the Six of Wands is still a victory. It just doesn't necessarily feel like it. Okay? And I get that from the sun as well. Because the sun is here. And no matter what else comes out in, the, in this reading, no matter how bleak it may seem, the sun is still shining and illuminating things. And the sun is upright. Okay? The Six of Wands in reverse is coupled with the Knight of Pentacles. It doesn't feel like a victory because you got some planning that you need to do now. You got to take things slow. You got to go step by step, step by ag agonizing, meticulous step, yeah, to kind of put your life back together. Because this King of Swords, and it's so crazy. It's so crazy because I just did the reading for Libra. Was it Libra? What's right before you? Scorpio. I just did the reading for Scorpio. And the Queen of Swords came out in reverse. And that Queen of Swords was super manipulative. So if you're resonating with that and this, I think maybe you should watch the Queen, the, the, the Scorpio um, video as well. You could have Scorpio in your chart. And you're viewing this from a masculine point of view, like you're the masculine energy here. You are symbolized by the King of Swords. That has been manipulated and twisted and um, chained to some sort of codependency. It's entirely possible. But again, with the Six of Wands in reverse and the Knight of Pentacles, this doesn't feel like a victory, but ultimately it is, okay? Moving forward, we have the Five of Swords. Yeah, that's some conflict right there. With the Ten of Swords in reverse, and yet someone is choosing to stay in this conflict. They're not learning the lesson. It's like they want, they're staying in this Ten of Swords energy because they want to fight back and like get revenge almost. That is only going to hurt them in the end. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. It is not because the Five of Swords is self-destructive. Lose, lose. Self-sabotaging. Yeah. Moving forward, we have the Page of Pentacles. So starting over in a material sense. Great. With the Wheel. And the Wheel of Fortune, it's reversed. Okay, so a karmic cycle needs to come to an end before anybody can start off on their own. So maybe that's why this doesn't feel like a victory because the karmic cycle hasn't quite ended yet. But it maybe it hasn't ended also because someone's choosing to stay in the battle. Someone is choosing to fight back. Mm. Mm. I don't like that. Moving forward, the Hierophant. Institutions, um, maybe your higher self. It could be marriage. It could also be dealing with a Taurus. Ooh, the Empress is reversed. You really could be dealing with a Taurus. The Empress and the Hierophant are at odds with each other right now at the, in this. Because it's like the patriarchy is saying one thing, but then the matriarchy is saying something different. The masculine energy here is saying one thing and trying to control things in a certain way and the feminine energy is like, no, we can't do it that way. Whoever, whoever's choosing to stay in this Ten of Swords energy and fight back, 
Your masculinity in you is wanting to fight back because of ego and pride. But the femininity in you is like, no, I am not fighting for that anymore. We need to get the F out of here. Right? Yeah. Finally, we have the lovers. Okay, so a choice is needing to be made between vice and virtue. This could be just a deep soulmate relationship. But also with the high priestess in reverse. So someone who really is not listening to their intuition here. Both the empress and the high priestess are reversed. And I was saying that the empress energy is saying, no, we can't do that this, we cannot do it this way, guys. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> okay, let's get into your oracle guidance. For Sagittarius. Interesting. All right, Sagittarius. Oracle guidance for you. <clears throat> there we go. We've got two. Ooh. Okay, we've got anger. Safely express your anger. Use anger as a positive force. Honor all of your emotions as sacred. But this is bringing up that Five of Swords energy here. Somebody really wants to fight back. But instead of fighting back physically, fight back energetically in the sense that take your anger and your frustration and put it towards getting you out of this situation. Put it, put it towards ending this cycle. Okay? And also we have discernment. All is not what it seems. Stay true to your knowing. Keep your dreams a secret. But this is also saying, listen to your intuition. It's trying to guide you, right? Okay. Oracle guidance from the Crystal Mandala deck. Yeah? Let's see what we got for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, what we got for you? Woo! That's too many. Jeez, there's four of them here. It's too many. Okay, let's try this again. Sagittarius, for the month of July, what have we got for you? Here we go. <laughs> Divine Rebel. Ascended Master, Quan Yin, and Pearl. So you might want to get some Pearl to work with for the month. All right, let's get into the book here. 29, this 29, oh wow, I turned right to it. And 29 boils down to an 11, hey. Divine Rebel. We bring you the blessing of the Divine Rebel. Divine Rebels shake things up. Create a divine disturbance and refuse to play by the rules. They do this because they love divine love. And I feel like this speaks to your energy specifically, as just as Sagittarians, yeah? Um, they know there is nothing as powerful as the unconditional love of the divine. It will have its way in the world, in the hearts of all living beings. It will not be tamed, controlled, restricted, or denied. Hello, Sagittarius. <laughs> if there is a rule that gets in the way of, of that love, then the divine rebel will find another way so that love can have its way. The divine rebel is in you is not meant to do things the way others say you should. With that hierophant that came out. Mm -hmm. Some people may become frustrated with you because... They won't know why you have to stand up and speak your truth. That's okay. Divine rebels are not always understood, but they are respected by those who are ready to make love more important than fear and who are willing to contribute constructively towards healing the world. Boop, 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 boop. 
<laughs> All right, Sagittarius. So there you have it. Um, I would recommend getting some pearl to work with for the month. But I hope that resonated with you. And I look forward to connecting with you guys for the month of August. Yeah? Take care. Mwah. Much love. Bye.